Hi everyone, welcome back to more Golden Sun The Last Age. This will be the last video on this game. And so before we head off to go fight Doom Dragon and do the in-game stuff, I do want to show you the new summons that we got in the last video, Iris. Um, I didn't even think about trying that out and showing you in the last video, so... And the problem is we probably won't get to use the summon during a Doom Dragon. Because it requires so many gen to be active. And Doom Dragon, I, I think, has a... Uh... Is there no enemies out here? We'll run around inside. Um, I believe Doom Dragon has like Storm Gen, which sets your gen back on standby. So, uh... Yeah, I don't, I think it's really hard to use Iris during Doom Dragon battle. And it sucks because it is the best summons in the game. It deals a massive amount of damage and it heals all of your allies that are, are downed. So, I mean, it's a really good summons, but Doom Dragon, it's, it's difficult to use. And also Doom Dragon has three phases. Um... So, since I can't guarantee it, I'm just going to show it right here. Like a massive solar flare. Everyone's healed. Everyone's revived. Oh, it's such a such a good one. But see, it takes all nine Mars and four water. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull that off. I mean, I could go in and do a summon rush with Doom Dragon, but it doesn't work because Doom Dragon has three phases. So it just does, doesn't work trying to do that strategy. So those big powerful summons you probably won't get to do. You have proven your worth. The heavens await you. I know, I, not, I need my gin to reset. I, I do want a screenshot. Uh... I just run around, they'll reset. That was strange. It looked like Felix was getting up off the ground. Not sure if these firebirds give good experience or not. Ah, uh, yeah, they give you decent experience, so you could grind here too, but I think the Wonderbirds and Islet Cave are the better. Okay, everyone has been reset. I'm gonna set all of these. Because if I have to get to my B team, I might as well just do a summon rush. Okay. Let's create a save.
Should be the last save of the game. Okay. It's finally here, y'all. It's finally here. Betrayers, you have arrived. Who said that? The wind's so strong. The wind's too strong. I can't see anything. I heard it too, but I don't see anyone else up here. Felix, quick. Cast the Mars Star in before anything has a chance to stop us. So, you are still intent on lighting the beacon of the Mars Lighthouse. Who said that? Have you forgotten me so soon, Isaac? And you, Garrett? It seems to know you, Isaac. Do you have any idea what it is? Then search your heart, boy. That voice. It's the wise one. Isaac, since when are you on a first name basis with the wise one? It must have been... Isaac, what happened in Soul Sanctum after we were kidnapped? When Sadros and Minardi stole the elemental stars, they also triggered a volcanic eruption. The Wise One prevented Mount Aleph from erupting so that Garrett and I could escape. But wait, Mount Aleph did erupt. There was a huge explosion. We saw it all the way in Vault. But it would have erupted with us still inside. There was no way we could have escaped in time. The Wise One held off the eruption until we could escape. You even He even halted the lava flow. I can't believe it. Nobody has even power to do that. Nobody has enough power to do that. I know it sounds weird, but I was there, and it happened. So you'll just have to believe us. If it can do all that, this Wise One seems more like a god than an adept. I did not just save you, I also tasked you with recovering the four elemental stars. Why have you disobeyed my command? Why have you come to light the beacon? Because Prox will be destroyed if we don't. We can't let that happen. Prox, they had brought this disaster upon themselves. Are you saying we should just abandon them to die? What did they do to deserve that? The people of Prox have committed an unforgivable sin. They must pay the price. For lighting the lighthouses? Is that their sin? Does that warrant total destruction? If we don't light the beacon, Gaia Falls will eventually erode away all of Wired. We have fought for so long to save all the people of our world, and now you would stop us? Gaia Falls is growing. It consu it's consuming more and more each passing day. How can you just allow the world to crumble into nothingness? The seal needs to be broken. The world will be destroyed if it's not. You have learned far too much. Wise one, you can't continue to protect the lighthouses. You know what's happening. It is your duty to protect all of Wired. If Wired is destroyed, you will have failed, uh, failed us all. Why won't you answer us, wise one? If alchemy is unleashed, mankind may well may as well destroy all of Wired itself. But we can combine our strengths, ensure that alchemy not be used for evil. It is inevitable. In time, one man will seek to rule over all. It is human nature, inescapable. And it shall come sooner than any of you think. Why do you say that? The water adept who climbs towards the peak of Mount Aleph even as we speak. He is not a friend of yours. Alex is his name. Clearly you have not forgotten him. Alex, what would he be doing at Mount Aleph? He understands far more than you do. He knows that when the four beacons have been lit, their light will gather at Soul Sanctum. But what would he gain from being there? When the final beam of light reaches the peak of Mount Aleph, the golden sun shall rise. The golden sun? What is that? And what would Alex want with it? When the four beams merge into one, they form a golden sun. 
a golden light bathing Mount Aleph's Mount Aleph's peak. Is is that alchemy? I mean, pure alchemy made real, all the heart of its power. And it's the light that gives the shape. To, and it's the light that gives shape to the stone of sages. See, there's that term stone of sages, and I, I don't know what that is. This has been Alex's one true desire from the very start. Alex planned all this, then he must have been after this power all along. We've been duped. He used us all. Or you'd better believe... Oh, you'd better believe he's not getting away with this. Alex, how could he do this? He's... He's one of my people. I feel sick. Disgusted. None of that matters right now. We still have to light the beacon. We don't have any choice. If we don't do it now, Prox will be destroyed. Felix, we have to, right? Yep. You bet we do. The wise one will have to deal with Alex on his own. I cannot interfere in the actions of mankind. If he can't interfere, then how about getting out of our way so we can light the beacon? Good one, Jenna. I don't like doing exactly what Alex wants, but it's looking like we've got no choice. Don't worry, Felix. Just throw the Mars Star into the beacon well. In the beacon's well, now. Wise one, didn't you just say that you're not allowed to interfere with our actions? That is correct. I cannot stop you. But what if some miracle were to occur? One that prevented you from igniting the beacon. Miracle? What are you talking about? What kind of miracle? If you can defeat a miracle, only then can you ignite the beacon's flame. The wise one is up to something. Be wary, everyone. We don't know what he's capable of. Yeah. Ah! Doom dragon! A three-headed dragon? That's your miracle? So you would have us fight for our future. Fine, then we fight, we shall. What's he thinking? We already beat a two-headed dragon. How much tougher can this one be? I don't care how many heads it has. Nothing's going to stop us now. Let's do it. For Prox, for the future of Wayard. Wait a second. Wasn't that two-headed dragon actually... So that means this three-headed dragon must be... Felix, no. You mustn't fight the dragon. It's... Too late, Kraden. We can't get away from it now. Felix, don't. Stop. Uh, yeah. And we will find out after the battle what Kraden has realized. I should have rearranged my gen, too. Because I don't think I have a very good selection. But oh well. Okay, not not very bad damage, so we're good. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Doom Dragon. Oh, 
most her party's defense. Seven, that's not bad. Let's do a shield. At least get rid of one of the heads. And it did not. Damn. That did not go like I wanted. Okay. One head's down, but now the attacks are going to get even worse. Too bad. I do need to heal.
Alright. Let's do this. Oh god damn, they want Shiva. <laughs> Doom Dragon, stop hitting yourself. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that. I have a feeling I'm doomed if I try to do it that way. Okay, there's the second head. I'm pretty sure I got this because even if he wipes out these guys, um, I still have Isaac and his team who can do a, a summon rush and uh, take him out. So, ooh, damn. Wait a minute. Yeah. And then I want to do this. God damn.
Okay. Okay, I need to go with a bunch of attacks there. I'm just really focused right now. This like gin storm really messed me up. I was about to say, if he uses a cruel ruin right now, I, I'm done. That this team is gone for. Stop hitting yourself. Ah, that's funny. God damn, I'm gonna lose one or two of them. She was gone. Damn, no, I survived. I'm surprised. This is, I think, my favorite. Besides Iris, Eclipse is definitely my favorite. It's just really cool. I like dragons, so. The fact that it has a dragon is just so cool. Oh, Jin is, Felix is probably gone too. Jin and Felix. Damn. We're getting close. We're getting close. Gin Storm. Everything is drained.
have a can. Ooh. Oh, damn, seriously? So we'll use it on her. Phoebus the most likely out of all of them to fall. It's always the wind at it. There we go. We've won. Fantastic. Uh Yep. It's Isaac's dad and uh Jenna's pa Jenna and Felix's parents. That's what I was trying to warn you about. It wasn't just the dragon you killed. I remember you warning us, but it was too late for us to stop. Hayden, what do you know? Why were you trying to stop us from fighting the dragon? It was the wise one's final trap. Trap? What do you mean? The wise one knew he couldn't stop you, so he played a cruel, wretched trick on you instead. Kraden, I don't understand. What are you trying to tell us? Sheba, let's see who these people are while they are trying to sort this out. No, Jenna, don't look. You mustn't look. It was only it'll only bring you pain. What are you talking about, Kraden? They can't hurt us anymore. We'll just Yep. Yeah. What's the matter, Jenna? It, it can't be. Wow. What is it, Isaac? Isaac, I, I know that guy. That's your dad. Then who does that mean? Then, then does that mean the other two are? Mom, dad. I'll heal Jenna's parents quickly. Maya, uh, I'll heal Jenna's par parents. Quickly, Maya, tend to Isaac's father. No good. If only, if only I'd realized it sooner. I don't think they're going to be able to heal him. What's the matter, Pierce? Why did you stop? Jenna's parents need you. Don't give up, Maya. You can't. You have to save them. It's no use, Ivan. I'm tapped. I am too, and even if I weren't, it's just too late. What are you saying? They're not... They can't be. That's not what I'm saying, Jenna. I... I finally found them. I was going to be with them again for the first time in years. Jenna. Please, it can't be. Mom, wake up. It's me. It's Jenna. Don't leave me. Jenna, you must prepare yourself for what comes next. Being transformed into a dragon, fighting in that form. This requires tremendous power. What are you saying, Kraden? In fighting you, your parents were forced to use every last ounce of their energy. They don't have the strength to. Even if they had won the battle, they would not have survived. You cannot blame yourself. You monster. Why did you do this? Why did you make us fight Jenna's parents? You're no god. You're no protector. You're evil. You don't understand the pain you have caused, wise one. You have no idea the damage done to a child who learns she has destroyed her own parents. That's enough. I knew what I was doing the moment I raised my sword. We defied the wise one in order to save the world. Our parents would understand. Don't you think so, Felix? Yeah? You're right. It hurts, but it's true. We didn't do this for ourselves. We did it for all of Wired. 
We still have a chance to save Prox. Perhaps we can't save your parents, but we can save countless others. Kyle and the others saved them too. Kyle and the others saved them too. They sacrificed their lives so that we could go on. I never imagined that my actions would help save the world. Even though lighting the beacon may create wars and strife, I regret none of it. There's little time left. There's little time left, Felix. Use the Mars Star and light the beacon. God damn, why can't I? Uh, I'm just gonna do it from this side. What? 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 Okay. <laughs> oh my god, really? Yes. Yep, it's now lit. The beacon is lit. And to think I joined this quest hoping to prevent exact exactly this from happening. And I began this quest as a prisoner, taken against my will. And if that tidal wave hadn't sent me off course, I wouldn't have even be here now. How many lives have been taken and changed forever just to light this beacon? Mom, Dad, Warrior is safe now. You're right. I hear voices too. I told you. I told you I could hear them. Who said that? Where are you? We're an email. We're at the base of the Mercury Lighthouse. You, you can't be. You can't be. Hey, I know that voice. It's Maya. I just know it. Maya. It's you. Of course it's us. We can hear you, Maya. We're all right. I'm so happy. Who are those two kids talking to? I don't know. They've been standing here telling everyone to leave the lighthouse. We're a couple of kids if you ask me. How is it that we can hear you? I don't know. But he told us you'd be able to we'd be able to talk to you if we came here now. He, who's he? I don't know. We were sleeping and he came to us in a dream. He said go to the lighthouse. The lighthouse? Why? He said that we have to deliver a message. He was too busy to do it himself. What message? We have to warn everyone to stay clear of the lighthouses. What's going to happen? I don't know, but he told us to warn people away from Mount Aleph as well. But who is he? You still haven't told us. You're a meanie. <laughs> I don't tell meanies anything. Don't pay any attention to him. It's me, Maya. Can you tell me who spoke to you? I told you I don't know, but he looks like a big rock with a big rocky eye. The wise one. What could he be doing? Of course, I understand. The wise one said that when all four lighthouses have been lit, the golden sun will shine. When that happens, Mount Aleph and the lighthouses will probably be quite dangerous. So the wise one is warning people in dreams, telling them to seek refuge. Why would he do that? You saw what he did to us. He can't be up to anything good. Have you not learned? One's actions do not always reveal one's true intentions. Yep, Hama. Master Hama, did you receive a message too? Yes, I was called the Jupiter Lighthouse in a dream. You have completed your quest, but I see it comes with great loss. Your suffering has been almost unbearable. Master Hama, my parents. I know, Jenna. I am sorry, but do not give up hope for them. Do not give up hope for them just yet. What do you mean, Master Hama? Appearances can be an illusion. The wise one has a caring heart. He forced us to fight Isaac and Jenna's parents. What's so caring about that? If the wise one were truly evil, he would not be warning me of danger in my dreams. 
Well, I guess not. But then what's he up to? We do not have time to discuss this right now. She's right. If the wise one said it's not safe to be near the lighthouses, then I think we should listen. I am heading for safety too. All of you must get away from the lighthouses now. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. What about our parents? We can't leave them behind. I understand how you feel, but we won't make it if we have to take them with us. Make the decision, Felix. Should we take them with us? Yes. Uh, it's too dangerous. The golden sun is forming. A ray of light is it is a ray of light is emanating from the beacon for the Mars from the Mars star. What will happen? The power of alchemy will be unleashed upon the world. We must take Isaac's father and Jenna's parents and flee. Stop it. Let go of my wrist. Garrett, get a grip. No one's touching you. I'm serious. I... The beacon. Jenna, we have to move your parents. Mom, Dad. What's happening? There's no time for questions. Just carry them. Carry them and go. Thank you, Felix. And you too, Isaac and Creighton. By igniting Mars Lighthouse, you stopped Gaia Falls from devouring our town. We're just glad to have helped save Wayard. You've been through many trials, more than any of us can even know. We had no choice what to we had no idea what to expect when we lit the final beacon. When we saw the flash of the beacon, we had no idea what you suffered to light it. I thought we were done for. There was no way we could escape with our parents' bodies. Well, at least not if we hadn't pulled together and overcome our sorrows. The light was brilliant. You know, I shall always regret that I didn't get to look upon the beacon's light from afar. I understand your regret. As a scholar of alchemy, you would have been most impressed. I saw the beams of blue, red, and purple streaming out towards the southeast. That's the direction in which Vale lies, is it not? Was the light headed towards your hometown? Indeed it was. The wise ones said the beams were going to merge into one above Mount Aleph. The orb of golden light we saw, that was shining directly over Vale. Yes, that was the golden sun forming over Mount Aleph. If I remember the tales correctly, the golden sun is the blast of light emitted at the very moment the Stone of Sages forms. Such legends exist even here. I wish that I had known that sooner. I fear for Vale to think that all this energy is be rele being released right over your hometown. We're all worried about that. We're hoping we can return to Vale as quickly as possible. Oh, is there nothing we can do to convince you to stay? We had hoped you might stay in Prox for a while, but that sounds unlikely. Don't worry, we plan on returning as soon as things quiet down, don't we? Yep. Our village will not soon forget that you saved us from the edge of destruction. Do visit us again. When that time comes, I may no longer be in this world. Don't say such things. I'm sure a long life awaits you. Well, I suppose we should be departing for Vale soon. You're right, Creighton. If we don't, you know who might be causing trouble. At least some of your cares have been re remedied. Remedied. You must be glad to know we brought all three back from the brink of death. I would not have thought it possible had I not seen it. Even I do not fully understand it. But there can be no doubt the fire synergy released by the beacon rekindled their spirits. I hadn't expe expected so much synergy to be released by the lighthouse's beam. I had no real explanation other than, the, other than that their life forces had not been fully extinguished. It was a miracle, but the fire synergy seems to have recharged them somehow. And had your parents not been adepts, the wave of synergy would have passed them by. Isaac, what's taking you to so long? Don't keep, go don't keep me waiting. 
Uh-oh, it's Jenna. We're late, and she looks rather displeased with us. Did I let her know we're leaving now? Yes. I'm sorry, we're almost done. Can you wait for us at the village gates with the others? I'm serious. If I have to wait much longer, you're not going to be happy. I'll wait outside with them. I don't think they want to wait anymore, Felix. We're all set to head home. They have no patience whatsoever. Ah, oh, well, I suppose it's time to leave. May your journey home be safe and uneventful. We shall never forget what you have done for Prox. Yep. We've saved the world. What took you so long? Mom and Dad are tired of waiting for you. That's not true, Felix. You take as long as you need to say farewell to the people of Prox. Don't worry about us, Felix. Well and the others took good care of us. Don't tell him that. We'll be stuck here forever. You look like you're feeling back to your old self, Jenna. You were weeping such mour mournful tears after the battle. What? As if. You can't, provo you can't prove anything. Go easy on her. You have to remember, she thought that both of her parents had died. Oh, were you crying, Jenna? No, I said. I said I wasn't. Now you've got me thinking about my family. I didn't think I'd miss them this much. I only hope that they're all safe back in Vale. I just want to be home again. I want to see how my mother is doing. Don't worry, son. I'm sure Dora's doing fine. She's a strong woman. And she wouldn't let anything happen until you came home. Sorry to keep you all waiting. At last, the time has come for us to return to Vale. As soon as we leave Prox, we'll head, we'll head towards An Angera, and from there to Vale. I can't wait to see this winged ship of yours. It sounds incredible. I remember so little of our time in Prox. This is really my first voyage at a on a ship. I've heard that the wind and waves make the boat rock. I hope I don't get sick. The ancient ship of ours actually flies above the ocean. It's quite a cozy ride. It looks like we've got an, ex an exciting last trip ahead of us, doesn't it? Wow. Setting out like this takes me back to our quest start. It was so long ago. You keep talking like this, we'll never go anywhere. Let's go, Felix. Right? I'm with Jenna. Let's get a move on. It. What's the matter, boys? Are you reluctant to depart? It's hard to believe that our quest is almost at an end. I know how you feel. I just hope that Vale came out of this in good, as good a condition as Prox did. We don't know until we get there. Can't stop thinking about how my parents are doing. Were the both of them in Vale? Can't you make a guess, Craden? Will Vale still be standing when we arrive? Not even I can know that. I can see it in your eyes, Craden. You think there's something happening, don't you? It's a possibility, one that cannot be ignored. If it's not there, then what's the point in even going back? Is that really how you feel, Isaac? What about Felix? No. You remember, don't you, Felix? Think about it for a moment, Isaac. What do you mean? Our converse conversation with Hama after we ignited the beacon. Don't you remember us talking to the children from email at the base of the Mercury Lighthouse? Uh, when they were warning people, uh, when they were warning people away from the lighthouses. Yes, the wise one instructed everyone to seek refuge. Yeah. So what about it? You still don't see, Garrett. Even if Vale were destroyed, I'd expect that the villagers have escaped to safety. I guess that's true. They might still be all right. That's true. So whatever happens, my family's alive. I'd forgotten about that. Thanks, Craden. Garrett, can you make sure everyone else knows that? Okay, let's go, both of you. We have to catch up to everyone. Craden. Why did the wise one change our parents into a dragon? Why did he make us fight them? 
I mean, we almost killed them. He tried to make us kill our parents. Why? Do you think that he intended for them to, to die from the start? I cannot speak for him, but I think he knew that they would be revived by the beacon's light. We cannot hope to fathom the motives of a being as all-powerful as the wise one. You don't even know, Kraden. I can only hazard a guess. The wise one wanted to test you. What do you mean, test us? I cannot tell you more. It is up, you, up to you to find the answer. Will we use alchemy to wage war to raise armies? Or will we use it to grow wise? To rise above our petty feuds and perform great deeds? You were willing to sacrifice everything. Anyway. You were willing to sacrifice everything for your quest. I'd say you've given to you've risen to this challenge. Oops, is everyone else far ahead of us? We'd better hurry and catch up to the others before they leave us behind. After all, I'm not terribly interested in walking all the way back to Vale. If you feel the same, then we'd better hurry. Isaac, Felix, we're off. Ah, and it's over! There's a little cutscene at the end of the credits. So. So we'll have to sit through the credits, unfortunately. We get to see Alex one last time. There he is, climbing the top of Mount Aleph. The Golden Sun, the very quintessential, <laughs> oh my god, of alchemy's power, it's beginning. Wait for me. Please wait. Wait until I reach the summit of Mount Aleph. I wish they'd expanded on the Stone of Sages a little bit more. I mean, is that what the Golden Sun is? Is it not just a ball of light? Is there maybe like a golden sphere or ball at the center of it called the Stone of Sages? And what does it do? I mean, I really feel like they could have continued this game into a third one following right up after this and it had been really good. I mean, they did do, what was it? Dark Dawn or something like that? It was like 10 or 15 years after this game, they did a third one, and I actually do not like that game. I played through it, I think twice, and I just didn't like it. There was just a lot about it that didn't make sense. It almost seemed like the people who created it had not played these two games. You know, it's like the whole land masses had changed in, in 30 years, you know? You had these villages that suddenly popped out of nowhere that were nowhere in the original game. I, I don't know. But yeah, this... This was my favorite. It was just, it was just the perfect game that came out at the perfect time. Because I think I was like 13, I think, when this game came out. And, and, and I just discovered RPGs, you know, and all that stuff. And it was just the perfect timing, perfect setting, perfect game. And God, did I love it. I played so much. I even went to uh, Islet Cave and ran around and actually leveled out all of my characters to level 99. I, I did that much running around and playing around with it and gathering every item. I 100%ed this game. And I don't do that very often. I'll get close. I'll get like 95, 96%. Um, I'll get most things, but I just don't really see the point in getting everything.
At last, I have it. Eternal life and limitless power. At last, the power of nature is mine to control as I will. Rise, storms. Rise up and unleash your might upon Vale in the foothills of Mount Aleph. Why is he so evil? I don't get it. That's odd. I should have limitless power. So why can't I call up a simple storm? Who are you? I am called the Wise One. The Wise One? Vale's protector? You wish to have limitless power. Wish to? I just got it. No, your power is nearly limitless, but it has boundaries. Nearly limitless? You speak in riddles. Can't you see? The power is mine. Yes, you also have nearly endless life. Nearly endless life. And your synergy is somewhat stronger. If you are trying to anger me, have a little taste of exactly how much power I have, at have attained. Look at me, my body is brimming with power. <laughs> oh, and he gets wiped out. How? What's going on? I should be all powerful. How can you defeat me? You are not as powerful, Al. You are not all powerful, Alex. Your power has its limits, as does your life. That cannot be. Who is responsible for this treachery? Who has robbed me of my dream? I, the wise one, imbued the Mars star with some of the power of the forming golden sun. Imbues the Mars star with some of the power of the forming... Okay. It rests even now in the hands of young Isaac. Why? The heavens and earth are changing, Alex. You must flee now. What? Mount Aleph will soon be drawn into the heart of the earth. You must flee or join it forever. Flee? I cannot flee. I can't even move. Ah, uh, yes. You now see the limits of your power. If you are swallowed by the earth, you may not survive. If you survive, perhaps we shall meet again someday. Yeah, so where's the Stone of Sages? Finally, we've reached Vale. What's the matter, Garrett? You're finally home again. Aren't you happy? Garrett's just worried about what's happened to everyone in Vale. So it's just uh, so it's just over that last hill. I can't wait to see what your hometown looks like. It's beautiful. I'm sure you'll like it, Pierce. I'm just going to close my eyes. Someone tell me if it's all right to open them. <laughs> Me too. Would someone else see how things are? I'll go. Come with me, Felix. How's it looking, Isaac? I'm almost there. It... it can't be. What is it, Isaac? Felix, say something. I'm sorry, Jenna, but Vale, Mount Aleph, they're gone. What? This... this is terrible. Is that Mount Aleph? Mom. Dora. Mom, Dad. Isaac Garrett, what can I do? What can I say to comfort you? They're here somewhere. They have to be here. What can we do? How can we help them now? I don't know. Call out to them. Such a tragedy. I'll call them. Isaac, Garrett, I understand what you're feeling. I've felt it too. But standing here won't bring them back. Let's go back to Vault. We can rest there and think. Your family's safe, Felix. You don't have anything to worry about anymore. But what am I supposed to do? I'm all alone now. Aw, oh, poor baby. That, that was kind of a bitch-ass comment to say, Shiva. Poor baby? Ale. Shiva, what's gotten into you? How could you say that to Garrett? Hee <laughs> hee, I wonder. Shiva? Maya? You think this is funny? 
I've lost everyone, my whole family. Garrett, don't be so sad. I thought you might be a little more confident after all your adventures. Haha, uh -huh, I got to see my brother crying. So, you have made it back, Garrett. I knew it would take more than this to beat you, son. Welcome back, Garrett. You look surprised to see us, Garrett. How did you survive? The wise one warned us of danger. He guided us, he guided us here to safety. Everything was destroyed. Our homes, our town. But the wise one saved you all? I, I'm not alone. If you all made it out, did Dora as well? Yep, there she is. Welcome home, Kyle. Isaac, you survived. How did you? Ah, they're back together again. The world has been saved. The end. Uh, it's so sad. I just hate how they left it off. They left so many questions. You know, like, what? what is the Stone of Sages? We never really learned anything about that. Isaac? What happened to Isaac? You know? Uh, sure. I will go ahead and save it just in case. You know, what happened to Isaac? I mean, not Isaac, but, uh, Alex. What happened to him? You know, and then what's more frustrating is in the third game, the Dark Dawn or whatever it's called, Alex does make an appearance and he makes some weird, obscure reference to opposite elements or anti-elements. I, I don't know. It's very weird. Golden Sun, book two. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, this was such a great game, such a great series, such a great story. I don't understand why they didn't continue it quicker and do a better job. They just waited way too long to make Dark Dawn, and then, in my opinion, they botched it with that game. Of the story, the premise, and they even, and even Dark Dawn was left on a cliffhanger. So, I, I really wish they would come back to this series and finish it up, but... At least we got to relive it again, so, and I enjoyed it, so. Well, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for joining me on this adventure, and I will see you next time with a different game. So, thanks for joining me.